What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Icker Scuba Marina. Today we're going to talk about adjustable second stages and we're also going to go in depth on what you're actually adjusting whenever you turn a knob or flip a switch on your second stage. Now I've got three different ones I'm going to show you today and I'm going to talk about the technologies of each. One I've got simply just diverts the airflow, one I've got actually changes the airflow or how much air you get, and the other one simply changes the cracking pressure or how easy it is to breathe through a second stage. So let's take a quick look and I'll give you some in-depth details. All right, guys, so I've got three different regs here. I've got an Aqualung Titan. I've got a Marius Fusion 52. And then, of course, I've got a Neptune G-Divers full face mask that has a built-in second stage. And we're going to take a look at all three because all three are adjustable style regs. And we're going to see exactly what we're adjusting when we flip that switch or turn that little knob there on the side. So let's take a quick look at each one. All right, guys, so the first reg that we're going to look at, this is the Ocean Reef G-Divers or Neptune Space Mask. It has a built-in second stage. This is an integrated diving mask. simply means the mask and the regulator itself is built into one solid unit. Um, unlike a traditional mask where you'd have the regulator separate, this is one solid unit. But if you look over here on this side here, it does have an adjust knob here. And basically, all this knob does is simply adjust the cracking pressure. What the cracking pressure is, is inside the house in here is a diaphragm just like on any other second stage and directly behind the diaphragm where the demand lever is here there is a demand or where the demand valve is there's a demand lever and so when you inhale and you're sucking in on that diaphragm what you're doing is pressing in on that demand lever and how hard or how easy it is to press in on that demand lever is going to be determined by the little turn knob here and what that turn knob is doing is either loosening or tightening up the demand lever that's inside the second stage and i'll try to show you what that looks like here briefly so let's move on to another reg and i'll show you how we can adjust it and what it adjusts all right guys on this particular reg here uh this is the aqua lung titan here what we've got on here is more of a venturi switch than we do a cracking pressure knob and if i turn it over here and look on top you'll see there's a little switch it simply goes from positive to negative and what's what i'm actually adjusting here is directly inside the mouthpiece area right about here there's a little plastic sleeve if you will or a plastic gate and if it's in the negative position that gate is in this horizontal position and basically what that does is as you breathe in and the air comes into the second stage it kind of blocks the airflow now it doesn't completely block it but it definitely makes it a lot harder to breathe now, if you push it over into the positive position, instead of being horizontal, it actually takes that plastic uh, piece in there and it turns it vertical, just like my finger. So now as the air comes in, it's going to deflect and deflect directly out the mouthpiece, making it a little bit easier to breathe. So this Venturi switch, if you will, what it's primarily used for is not necessarily to make it easier to breathe or harder to breathe, but a lot of divers will use this simply as a pre-dive mode and a dive mode. They'll put it in the negative position as a pre-dive, especially on their alternate air source. That way, when they do their giant stride, the regulator hits the water, it's not going to just start free-flowing. But as they begin the dive, they'll take it out of pre-dive mode into dive mode, or they'll take it from negative to positive, and it does make it a little bit easier to breathe. But this is another example of how a second stage becomes adjustable in a sense. Even though this is a Venturi, it, it does make it easier or harder to breathe in a sense simply because you're deflecting the airflow. Very similar to the cracking pressure as far as adjusting, but a completely different mechanism in itself. So let's take a quick look at the third adjustable reg. All right, guys, this is the third reg that we're going to look at, and this is the Marez Fusion 52X. Uh, this happens to be the SSI or Marez Dive Pro version of it here. But you'll notice there's no Venturi switch. We do have the VAD, which you've seen in a previous video, but there's also no cracking pressure or cracking uh, pressure knob over here on the side. But what this one at does have is a little switch here that goes back and forth. And we have a positive side, and we also have a negative side. Now, this regulator kind of sets itself in a, a, a different ball game all, or in a different group altogether. To where with the Ocean Reef, we had the cracking pressure knob. With the Aqualung, we had the little Venturi switch. What this one actually does, it doesn't necessarily make it easier to breathe. It physically gives you more air. 
inside the demand lever here, if I'm in the negative position, you're gonna have a really, really tiny orifice for that air to come through. When you push it over into the positive position, that orifice is actually gonna grow. There's a larger orifice on this side than what there is here on this side. So it physically gives you more air versus just either diverting the airflow or adjusting the crack and pressure, meaning how easy or hard it is to push in on the demand lever. So on this particular one, um, it actually gives you more air. Uh, to say that it's easier to breathe than a, a properly adjusted reg, now that's really uh, objective to the diver using it. But on this particular one, this adjustable second stage actually gives you more air. So let's recap real quick on all three regs, and then I'll kind of give you a, a, my final thoughts on adjustable second stages. So there you go, guys. That's the three different types of adjustable regulators. The first one that we looked at is the one that actually changes the cracking pressure simply by turning a knob. And what are we changing? We're simply changing how tight or how loose that demand the lever is. If I turn it to the left, it loosens the demand lever, making it easier to take a breath. If I turn it to the right, it's gonna tighten that demand lever, making it a little bit harder to take a breath. We also looked at the Venturi switch, which what the Venturi switch does is as I turn it to the negative position, it's going to kind of block that airflow off, making it a little bit harder to get air as it works good for a pre-dive mode. Or if I turn it to the positive position, it's going to divert that airflow through the Venturi effect directly into the mouthpiece. And then, of course, the third one that we looked at is the twin power system that comes on the Marius Fusion 52X. And there's two different orifices here. You've got a large orifice and a small orifice. If it's in the small position, position, you're going to get a, a lower volume of air coming through. If you turn it to the larger orifice or the larger port, you're going to get a higher volume of air, you're actually physically giving you more air. As far as adjustable second stages, you need to use what you feel comfortable with. Me personally, I don't really like an adjustable second stage. All the regulators that I use are balanced first stages um, and balanced second stages. So I have the same amount of air, whether I'm at the top, at the bottom, it doesn't matter where I'm diving at, I'm always gonna have the same amount of air coming in. I will note this, even though this has the twin power system, I personally like the VAD system or the Vortex Assisted Design System here. Uh, if you wanna know more about that particular, check out our video, I'll link it down below and put it here for you. Definitely check out our video on the VAD system here um, it works just like the vortex or just like the venturi system does and it also works by making it easier to take that breath so you don't physically have to adjust the cracking pressure at the same time so the vad system is going to work just like a cracking pressure knob and just like a venturi switch at the same time but guys that's the three different types of adjustable second stages that you may see out there let me know down in the comment section below what you think about adjustable second stages and if you use one which one you use and why you prefer it guys i appreciate you watching this video if you like it simply hit that like button for me if you have any questions Questions, please put them down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.